Moving on to other pressing news today, more than 4,500 people have now been diagnosed with the coronavirus, and an estimated 106 have been killed by the deadly disease so far. Well, as the death toll climbs, the world is frantically looking for a solution, and one Israeli company may have it. Synovia has developed a fabric finishing technology that could make it so that your clothes actually repel the virus. And joining us in the studio is the CTO of Synovio, Synovia, Liat Goldhammer. Thank you so much for being with us now. You're telling me that you're making clothing, fabrics that repel viruses. How does that work? Okay, so first of all, uh, we are not making fabrics yet. Sure, I'm sorry. We are still, uh, we are a startup, still in development stage. Um, and basically our technology is designed for textile manufacturers okay. to actually implement it in their lines. And the bottom line is, is a product that will repel a bacteria will actually actively kill bacteria mm -hmm. and potentially viruses as well. So the idea is that this solution would basically be built into the fabric that Correct. is manufactured uh, in, in kind of major factories. Correct. Okay. It's, it's a very easy implementation. It's a module that basically integrates easily into a production line of any textile for, mill anywhere around the world. For how long does the fabric, once Last. it's with Can this you wash technology, it? yeah. Sure, sure. The, and it'll the continue main, to kill bacteria and everything? Yeah, the main advantage of our technology is the durability. Wow. Normally, uh, finishing, textile finishes, like mm -hmm. uh, regular softeners, etc., they last for about 20 washes, home laundries. Our technology is actually uh, enables industrial wash cycles that wow. are good for hospital use, for well, yeah, I mean, I can imagine just in public places as a whole, restaurants, Correct. tablecloths, well, uh, napkins. Well, for doctors, you know, they're, they're, yeah. on, they're on the front lines with diseases like this, so right. they could be protected. It's a protective clothing, it's textiles for any uh, public area, right. even and trains and, and uh, planes. and. Right, and, and with coronavirus more specifically, I guess um, the idea would be to create an antiviral mask, right? So one, is of that the products, already... one of the products that has been on the news a lot are the masks, because because sure. it's airborne. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, we see as an advantage is that the product or our product is reusable. It's not one of those uh, disposable masks, right. so it can be it's used over and over. It could be washed. Yeah. To your okay. question, it can last 100 wash cycles at and 75 so, so degrees. Basically, so I would put that on. and. These are, it's not on the market yet, though, you're no, saying? No, no. When We're will it be on the market? Well, uh, we are expecting to be in the market in about a year. Okay. Uh, nine to, to nine months to a year. Well, you got to speed that up right now Correct. because we have a bit of an epidemic. <laughs> Correct. This is why we're, we're really seeking for yeah, investment. We need you. That's, okay. that's the... Now, here's my question. You put this on, okay, and somebody coughs on you. What happens to the bacteria at that the, point? The, the ingredients we put in the mask or in the textile are actually actively killing bacteria and viruses. Okay, so it's not just repelling, it's, it's actually killing It's not repelling, them. it's actually biocidal, it's killing the bacteria. Unbelievable. Yeah, and it was developed here in Israel in Barlan University. Wow, okay. Yeah. I think that, I mean, I'm just thinking about parents as well with babies. Correct. There's so many uses at this. Yeah, I'm very excited really to see where you guys are here. headed. Thank, thank you, you yeah, very thank much. So much for joining Thank us. you for, for inviting.